Hello, and welcome to another edition of Bentley Tech EDU. Today we're gonna to take a picture from ordinary to extraordinary. Here's what I'm gonna do. Let's start with the basics. How do you import a picture? Look, bottom right hand corner, there's a picture with a plus icon. I press it and I'm going to actually import a picture into my Lightroom directory. What I'm gonna do is choose this one right here, upper left corner, and I hit the add button. As soon as it's loaded into the Lightroom gallery, I can click it and activate it. Once it gets activated, you can see that it's already a pretty good shot. It's downtown Los Angeles, it's nighttime, it's dramatic. I call this my Spider-Man view because I'm leaning out over the edge. I'm literally on the balcony. No, I wasn't in danger or anything like that. But let's just take a look. I see some aberration in the angle and I don't like it. So what I'm gonna do is if you have a paying version, you can adjust the geometry right away. I will pull a line right down on the edge and then another onto the bottom. Now what I'm gonna to try to do is square up the picture. That looks nice. Okay, I might add another right there just to push the top section out. Now what's happened is I've been able to pull the right hand side and the left hand side so that they look a little bit better. I like this, but I see a huge problem. My giant problem that I'm dealing with right now is not so much my light or, or anything like that for brightness and contrast. Let's just take a look at something here. Hey, wait a minute, why is my picture so dark? Classic error. People forget that their phone has brightness. And look, mine is set at dark. If I brighten it up, hey, suddenly, wow, look at that. My picture looks really good. What the heck? I know. So please pay attention to what your camera and your phone is telling you. So you don't wanna do adjustments without actually knowing what's going on in your camera. So first of all, I could hit auto and it brightens it up. But the truth is it gets a little bit, I don't know, yellow. I'm holding the button before, after, before and after. You can't really see much of a difference. If you hold on the screen, you can make that change. You can pinch to make it larger or smaller. So I don't think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna hit the upper button that says back arrow. I'm gonna go back to my original. If I wanted, I could go to a preset. Now, the thing about the presets is, as you know, there's different sorts of cool things that you can do in there to make it look nice, but they have different qualities to them. What I'm trying to do is create a mood or a tone that has a feeling to it. This one, maybe it's a little bit too black and white. You'll notice that the lights of the city have completely dimmed down, and I wanna kinda of keep that yellow this one seems a little foggy and smoky, and I don't think I like that. Now, obviously black and white would look dreamy and, and nice, but I'm not gonna do any of that stuff. So what I'm gonna do is stick with the original for right now. What I will do is start manipulating the color in just the way that I'm after, okay? So here we go. Let's make this picture look a whole lot better. We've already corrected some distortion from the camera. Let's get in there and mess around with our brights just a little bit. I want to make it dark so that there's that feeling of ominousness. Now I said this is my Spider-Man view, but maybe it's Batman, right? What I'm trying to do is create a, an overall tone to the image. I'm just sliding all my sliders and anyone who's taken my classes knows that one of the things I really enjoy doing is experimenting. If I press, I can see before, after, Mine is getting really dark in the upper section. Look at the top left hand side. It's getting dark. So I feel like this has a little bit more moodiness to it. Maybe it's just a little bit too much. So go back to my exposure. Crank it up just a little bit. There we go. Now if I wanted to knock down the, the light in the upper section but maintain the bottom brightness, Again, I would go to one of my pay features right here with my selective edits. I'd get a gradation and I would cut a linear gradation right up here, kind of rotate it. Now what I'm doing is if you grab a line, you can push or pull the amount of gradation. Let me pick it up by the little square here. 
and I'm going to just do a little bit of adjustment right there and I'm going to make that area just a little bit darker. There we go. So you can see I can make it brighter. But I'm going to go a little bit darker. Just a little bit darker. And uh, yeah, I'm feeling that. Hit the check top right hand corner. Done. All right. So mm, I think it can use a little bit more. Let's try bumping up the yellows. We haven't tried this. Take a look at this. This is kind of fun. If you click on the color button in the bottom and you hit the mix button, you have all these colors to choose from. I'm going to make the yellows pop. So I'm going to click on the yellow and you can see it's now activated. If I push the saturation up just a little bit, the whole image becomes very yellow. Now maybe that's too much, but it's still got a little bit of a look to it. I'm liking that. Okay. I'm going to hit the done button. Get off of that. And you know, I think that looks very nice. It's got a crispness to it. The shot is fairly dramatic with the one point perspective leading down 4th Street in good old downtown Los Angeles. I believe that's Main Street and Los Angeles. You got a Starbucks down below. And uh, when you're happy with it, go ahead and just save that thing off. And that will do it, ladies and gentlemen. You hit the triple, you save to your device. We're not gonna do anything too spectacular today. We're just making a picture go from regular to extraordinary. Now, how did I do it? I did some correcting using my geometry. I did some basic color correcting. I did not use any presets because I felt like they weren't exactly what I wanted, but I did do everything it takes to make an image look amazing. So that's it for today, ladies and gentlemen. It is my pleasure to be your instructor at Bentley Tech EDU. Hey, everybody have a wonderful day. Stay safe, keep awesome, and do Lightroom and Photoshop forever.